Hello, and welcome to this daily hypnosis session to enhance self-awareness. Before proceeding with this hypnosis session, it's important to remember that hypnosis is not a replacement for medical treatment. Please ensure you're in a safe, distraction-free environment where you can comfortably sit or lie down. Please do not listen to this session while driving or operating heavy machinery. And now, on to the hypnosis. Now, I wonder if you've ever noticed how easy it is to just begin to relax. Maybe you're already feeling that way and you can discover the comfort of simply letting go. And isn't it fascinating how your body knows exactly how to settle down? As if a gentle wave of tranquility starts to wash over you. You might begin to notice your eyelids becoming heavy, or perhaps they've already surrendered to the pool of relaxation. And as you breathe, you might find it easier to let those eyes just close down, giving permission for the rest of you to simply unwind. It's completely natural to let your attention drift inward like a leaf gently floating downstream. In your mind, you can perhaps hear my words as if they're coming from a distance, allowing you to sink deeper into this moment. Your subconscious mind knows how to lead you down a path that's just right for you. Notice, perhaps, the tingling sensations in your fingertips or the comforting weight of your limbs, inviting you to go deeper still. Every word I say might weave a tapestry of ease and peace, wrapping around you like a warm blanket. And isn't it wonderful how simple it is to just let go and be here now. And it's a curious thing, isn't it, how much deeper you can go when you're already feeling so relaxed. It's as if there's a hidden staircase within you inviting you to explore lower and lower levels of tranquility. What could you find if you took just one more step down? Imagine for a moment that each step you take is carved from the most inviting material you can think of. And as you take a step down, you might notice how each step molds perfectly to the contours of your feet, reassuring you that you're on the right path. Let your imagination carry you as you descend, and as you go, you may find that the air becomes lighter, the atmosphere more serene. What colors do you see, filling the space with their nurturing hues? Do you hear any sounds, perhaps the soft whisper of the wind, or the melodious notes of a distant lullaby? And I wonder if you realized how each step you take doesn't just lead you deeper within this trance, but also closer to an inner sanctuary within your mind. There is no rush, no pressure, because isn't it true that the more patient you are with this journey, the more rewarding it becomes. You're invited to rest here for a moment, basking in the tranquil depths you've discovered. And now, in this deeply relaxed state, I wonder if you can imagine a lake, serene and calm. 
You can see this lake so clearly that you might even smell the fresh air around it. This lake in many ways symbolizes your mind, a mirror reflecting your inner world. And isn't it interesting to think that you can learn so much about yourself by simply observing this lake. You can choose to wander around the lake and as you do, it's easy to become aware of various aspects of yourself. I'm not sure whether you'll begin to notice your strengths first or perhaps realize the areas in which you'd like to grow. But one thing is certain, your subconscious knows what's most important to you to understand right now. And as you take this leisurely stroll around the lake, you might find that some thoughts effortlessly float to the surface, like lily pads. Each one could be an idea or a realization, something that helps you become more aware of who you are and what you truly want. How do you feel as you gently lift each lily pad and examine it? Maybe there is a sense of liberation, a freedom to acknowledge these aspects of yourself. Imagine for a moment that you have a basket and in this basket you can place insights or awarenesses you gather. And isn't it fascinating how some things you might have overlooked before seem so clear now. Just remember there's no right or wrong way to explore your own awareness. It's a personal journey after all. And if you come across any challenges or setbacks, imagine them as pebbles on your path. You might notice how some pebbles have sharp edges while others are smooth, shaped by the natural ebb and flow of life. And it's perfectly fine to pick them up, turn them over and examine them. What can they teach you? Each challenge or setback can be a stepping stone to greater self-awareness and growth. And I wonder have you ever considered how your interactions with others offer a mirror reflecting other dimensions of you? What if each person you meet can provide clues to understand yourself better? And you know, some of those reflections may be flattering while others might invite you to change or adjust certain behaviors. But in either case, they enrich your journey towards self-awareness. Picture now a wise version of yourself sitting by the lake's edge, feet dangling in the water. What advice would this wise version offer to you? You can take your time to really listen, absorbing wisdom that you hadn't considered before. This wisdom might be something simple, something you've always known deep down but never fully acknowledged. Of course, self-awareness is not a destination, but an ongoing process. The landscape of the lake can change with the seasons, just like you evolve over the time. But each time you revisit this place, you can deepen your understanding, your insight and your awareness. Now, what if I told you that you've been gathering tools to enhance your self-awareness? Not just during this session, but your whole life. Skills like empathy, curiosity and the ability to listen to be nurturing your self-awareness all along. It's quite possible you've been more chin than you've ever given yourself credit for. And now imagine placing a marker by this lake, a symbol that you can always return to. 
and you might find that each time you return, either in your thoughts or perhaps future hypnosis sessions, your understanding of the lake and yourself will be richer, fuller and more nuanced. You might even consider how wonderful it is that the path to self-awareness is not linear but rather a fascinating spiral where even revisiting old insights can bring fresh understandings. And you can feel free to keep the basket of insights and the lessons from the pebbles with you that you prepare to transition back to your waking state. Bear gifts from your subconscious, tokens of the deeper understanding that you've uncovered today. And it's interesting, isn't it, how time can seem to stretch and bend when you're deeply engaged in a journey within. Yet, as all good things have a beginning, they also find a moment to pause or to end. And you can sense that this moment has almost arrived, but before fully waking up, you can take a moment to thank yourself for this time spent in exploration and reflection. And now imagine that the steps you descended are now ready for you to ascend. Each step upward might feel lighter than before, perhaps even filled with a newfound energy. Your body and mind know exactly how to readjust. And with every step you take, you can feel more awake, more alert and more aware. Your eyes might start to feel lighter. You could begin to notice the sensation of your body reacquainting itself with the room you're in. By the time you reach the top, you'll be fully awake, feeling refreshed and recharged. And now as you return to your day, you might find that your steps are guided by a heightened sense of awareness. Subtle shifts in your thoughts and actions, almost as if by magic, can lead you toward choices that serve your greater well-being. And each time you pause to reflect, you remember how empowering it is to truly know yourself. Thank you for joining me on this journey towards enhanced self-awareness. It's an ongoing process, a spiral of exploration and discovery. And so until next time, goodbye and good mental health.